Hello everyone! In this video, I'll demonstrate some advanced tips and techniques for Genji in Overwatch 2. We'll start with a general tip for Genji before we get into the advanced tips. Since Overwatch 2 became 5v5 with one less tank, it is easier for Genji to go to the backline and assassinate a healer. So seek opportunities to assassinate healers as much as possible. However, your main priority is to stay alive in farm blade. So save your dash as much as possible when assassinating, and use it to run away from the opponent's team when you fail to assassinate. With that out of the way, let us begin. You can curve through a wall with a Genji dash, but for a curved dash to work, you need three qualifications. First, the line of sight must be clear. You must be looking at a spot you can shoot through. Secondly, the distance you want to curve dash has to be less than or equal to the distance of a typical dash. Last but not least, there should be no object in the way while curve dashing. If these requirements are met, you can curve dash anywhere. Here are some practical spots you can curve dash. There is an internal cooldown between using melee, which is about 1 second. However, you can cancel the internal cooldown of the melee by wall climbing. Using this melee cancel technique, you can burst 242 damage to an opponent using right click, melee cancel, then dash. This is useful to burst characters that have 225 health. You can also use the melee cancel technique to deflect quicker or use the dragon blade quicker after you melee. When you use a dragon blade and swing without a dash, you can only swing 7 times, dealing 770 damage in total. However, you can see how the right swing to left swing takes more time than the left swing to right swing. So, you can cancel the moment when you swing right to deal additional 110 damage, which is 880 damage. When you say greetings as Genji, Genji nods his head down, which allows him to have less hitbox of his head. When you use this while looking back, it's almost impossible for enemies to headshot you in midair. His head goes down by quite a lot when you use this technique, so use greetings first, then dash into the enemy widow to avoid getting one shot and eliminate her. Additionally, I'll give you guys some workshop codes to practice Genji. Here's the Genji Ghost Dash Practice Workshop, which helps you practice quickly switching your targets to different enemies. Here's Genji's Nanoblade Practice, which helps you practice Nanoblade. Here's Genji vs. 11 Ana Practice, which helps you Ghost Dash randomly placed Anas. This one is my personal favorite to practice. Watching my montages will also help you play better at Genji. This might sound like a joke, but it really does help me to play better when I watch Genji montages before I play. So go check them out if you want to watch how I play. Thank you so much for watching! I hope you enjoyed the video. I regularly stream on Twitch at 8pm Eastern Time. And as soon as I reach 50 followers, I'll be giving away the $15 Battle.net voucher to 5 people. So if you want to support me or watch me play live, please follow me on Twitch.
Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.